So there is always a question that why project management? Uh, you can also uh, explain why project management. You can express your opinion regarding why project management. Uh, different authors explain project management importance in different ways. Uh, considering all this, considering all these uh, explanations, uh, we can summarize that why project management. The first one is better control. You, if you don't have uh, project management, if you don't have project, uh, if you don't have clear idea about the project, if you don't have idea about the project proposal, how to prepare a project proposal, what will be a project control system, what will be project standard, and uh, once the project starts, you cannot control qualities. So if you have a project management, what will help you to uh, make a proper uh, proposal, then uh, project evaluation is there, project coordination, monitoring, control is there, project standard uh, are there. So you can compare your progress with the predetermined standard. And when you compare, you can find out the gap, whether you are maintaining the standard or you are above the standard or you are below the standard, your project performance uh, uh, maintain the standard or not. And these way we can control the quality. And uh, uh, another importance is because we do project for our customers, we do projects for our clients. Uh, through project management, you can establish better customer relationships. Uh, project management helps to understand our customers' preferences, choices, uh, uh, what, what they really uh, look for. And obviously project management, because project is always related with the time frame and uh, we have already bad experiences in Bangladesh that uh, many cases we never uh, finish our project on time and not not many cases most of the cases uh, we, we have uh, really uh, bad experiences so if you have a good project management that will help you to shorten your development times uh, it will help you to lower cost and you can ensure high quality uh, the clients can rely on your project uh, profit margins will be high. Uh, uh, the project will be result oriented. That is, you can easily achieve your goal and objectives. And interdepartmental coordination will be high uh, because we know that there are various department works in, 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 a, in a project. I have already used some examples like uh, procurement department, purchase department, accounts and finance department, IT department. So if you have very good project management, you can uh, coordinate all these department and you can set a bridge uh, among the activities of all these department. Moreover, when you have a good proposal, you have a, a better control, you have good customer relationship, uh, you have proper time frame, uh, maintenance of cost, uh, insurance of quality and reliability, all these will uh, help you to ensure the morale of the employees, morale of the workers, morale of the team members of a project. So really project management is uh, important. Uh, we can still continue uh, uh, with this. Uh, uh, companies have also experienced some negatives with project management. Uh, you know that uh, without project management, uh, most of the tasks will be very complex. Large organization, thousands and thousands of employees are working. So how do they manage their organization? How? Because they divided their program into projects. So if, if we still they want to coordinate control, the whole organization as a whole, uh, it's impossible. Uh, it will create lots of problems. So these way, uh, if you don't have good project management, then uh, the following problems will arise. Greater organizational complexity, um, uh, organizational uh, policy violations, cost will be high, uh, management will be difficult, and personal utilization or manpower utilization will be uh, difficult. So you see that these are the positive points for all these unique project management, and these are the negative points. So what it means, if you want to overcome all these problems, you need very good project management. Uh, how many types of projects we have? Uh, we can define, uh, we can classify projects uh, in terms of uh, 
goal in terms of phases, in terms of ownership, region, period, volume of activities, in terms of sector, in terms of professional segmentation. So, so many ways you can classify your projects. Uh, we will check here a few uh, classification of projects, few types of projects. Uh, uh, it's a goal or profit uh, orientation. If you consider that in terms of goal, uh, in terms of profit generation, uh, we can divide our project into two types. Uh, one type is a commercial project or profit making project, uh, like uh, forming business, partnership business, forming uh, companies. And uh, if it's not uh, a, a non profit project, also you can take like social projects, development projects, or non profit projects. So you see, the, in terms of goal, profit generation, uh, it's divided into two profit making projects or non-profit making project, or you can say commercial project or social projects or development projects. In terms of phase, phase, uh, then you can uh, classify projects into other categories like some projects are known as greenfield project, means pre-investment project, project pre-investment, means it's still a uh, project investment that has not started, is the phase before investment then growing project you can say uh, that means the project is already started to earn profit project is under operation seek projects uh, uh, means the project is not good at all so you need balancing modernizing uh, renovation or expansion bmre so when you need bmre balancing modernization renovation or expansion, uh, then these kind of projects are known as seek project. Closer project uh, is known as layoff project. Sometimes we need to stop operation of a project. So when you find that the projects are not working properly in case losses in three consecutive years, so they are closer to layoff, layoff projects. Again, in terms of phase, we can divide it. You can classify project into four. Uh, and, and the, these are greenfield project, growing project, seek project, or closer project. So you have examples in the right hand side. Greenfield project means pre investment project, growing project means projects earning profit, and seek project means required finance for BMRE. And BMRE means balancing, modernization, renovation, and expansion. And closure project means uh, these projects are not good at all. Uh, they are incurring losses for many years. So these kind of projects are also known as layoff project. In terms of ownership, you can uh, divide a project into public project and private project. Public project means a government projects, and private projects means uh, project under NGOs, project under companies. Uh, in terms of region or geographical location, also we can classify projects like local projects, obviously related to uh, your own country. Uh, uh, example like construction of a bridge within the country, national project, preparation of a national budget that is uh, for the whole country, and international project like signing memorandum of understanding between two countries. So you see that in terms of region or geographical location, local projects, a breeze in your area, a school in your locality, a college in your locality, national project. So government nutrition project is a national project. Government literacy project is a national project. And international project, projects taken by uh, World Bank, projects taken by IMF. So sometimes Bangladesh and other countries, they sign memorandum of understanding uh, between two countries or among three, four countries or more countries uh, for ensuring uh, proper drinking water. Uh, these are international projects. Red Cross, they're taking international projects. Rota rely on, they are working globally and they're taking international projects. Uh, hunger projects of uh, international organizations, these are international projects. Uh, if you consider the time frame, then we can divide uh, projects into three categories, short-term projects, uh, medium-term projects, and long-term projects. Uh, short-term project projects are always one year or less than one year uh, projects, medium-term uh, less than five years, more than one years, and long-term projects more than five years. 
Uh, we have example, you see that construction of a breeze within one year, if you uh, have a breeze that is short term developing computer software and take if it's a one to five years or construction of big projects like a flyover about the bridge. And if it takes uh, more than five years, that case is these are the long term projects. Uh, some projects request a lot of tasks. Some projects are really complex. Lots of activities you need to perform under a project. And that's why a volume of activities may consider to classify projects like a small scale project, medium scale project, large scale project. So small scale project, uh, formation of a proprietary sheep farm, or if you start a shop, uh, Ag Malikana Garber, so small scale project, medium scale project for me, a limited company uh, is a medium scale project. Development of an airport, you can develop an airport uh, within very short period of time and with limited budget or with limited activities. Large scale project, uh, development of an airport, a thousand kilometers of rail lines, um, development of 5,000 kilometers of roads and highways, these are large scale projects. And we can also classify projects into different sectors. Uh, there are some examples like uh, you have projects under agricultural uh, sector. So we can say agricultural projects, industrial projects, uh, urban project, rural project. We have some examples here, uh, agricultural project like irrigation projects, uh, industrial project like development of a power plant, urban projects, uh, real estate development in different areas, rural projects, sanitation project, uh, digging pond. So uh, these uh, really help you a lot because you have the classification at the same time you have some examples. And uh, we can classify our projects based on professional segmentation. Professional segmentation. Uh, the first one will help you to understand a lot like engineering projects. You see that it involves professional activities, it involves engineers, architects. Uh, so engineering projects, construction project like health project, uh, this is related with doctors, nurses, they all are specialized, public health uh, experts. So health project, you can go with education and training project. You need lots of researchers uh, who are uh, doing research on education, quality education. Uh, judicial project for ensuring law uh, better law and order situation in a country. Uh, these way uh, based on professional segmentation, uh, we can classify projects.